crap. <laughs> Key binding. Gone wrong. Very wrong. Uh, whoops. Okay. Please hold. Hello and welcome to episode 9 of A Pickled Adventure. My name is Leela Pickle. That's a lot more bush. Yes. We have trees. And they're making the place look um, very green, which is nice. Um, in between episodes, I have been using the, uh, the tree farm area and uh, also just, you know, harvesting the crops and gathering resources for all of our lovely projects later on. And uh, yeah, there's a few things I want to show you. So uh, let's head straight on into it. So I guess one of the glaringly obvious things that has changed is we have trees um, growing up all over the place. They're looking really nice and lush. Um, we've also done a little bit of terraforming uh, just outside of the, uh, the mine entrance. And also Timothy, who has not yet been officially named, now has a little booth all of his own. So he's not constantly getting in my way. <laughs> Bless him. Hi Timothy, how are you doing? Yes, spitting as always. Lovely. So the first thing I want to show you is, um, well, we've expanded the storage area. Uh, this area hasn't changed at all um, at this point. I'm still gathering uh, the various colours and most of them require the green colour. But um, a little trapdoor under the stairs, uh, if we go down here, I have extended the storage area to include large areas for our wood types and also a large area in the centre for other materials because I realised when I was farming wood I had nowhere to put it. <laughs> the uh, the few chests we have up on the surface just were, uh, were overflowing with wood types so um, yeah I created this place under here. Uh, it's pretty much the same as the, uh, the one above. Um, we've got a few little uh, atmospheric elements to it. We've got little puddles of water where uh, the the, the mould and the water has got through, through drips from the floor. And uh, eventually this is going to be um, a little fish tank. Uh, I'm very excited about that. And there'll be a door there through the birch area to access that. And then obviously we'll have, uh, I think, I think jungle wood goes here. And then acacia uh, wood goes over there or vice versa. I can't remember which. Um, but obviously we don't have those wood types just yet. Um, working on that, obviously. And uh, yeah, so this is our extension to our storage area. As we pass all the noisy sheep, hello, um, you will see we have a little strategic mound here. Um, this is actually the entrance to where the cactus farm uh, is currently. Uh, I haven't actually finished it. Um, I'm waiting to get some extra blocks, which I have been farming some vines, which I've added up here. Um, to this little section up above, uh, it it honestly looks like a giant tennis uh, net. I don't know whether that's just me, but it does. It just looks like a giant tennis net. But anyway, it is our giant tennis net with vines dangling off of it. Um, it looks really high, but um, I wanted them to be able to grow and not to be able to knock any of the upper vines off, so I had to replace them. So uh, they dangle quite nicely, they hang quite nicely, and I can just skim across and uh, and farm them all. And yes, from up here you can see the cactus farm doesn't actually have any cactus um, yet. Um, that's one resource we do actually need to get very soon. Uh, along with, and what's going to be going over into this corner, is uh, coca beans. So we're going to have a little tower of coca beans where we'll be able to just pick them off, replant and uh, we'll have lots of coca beans, mostly for uh, brown wool. Uh, that is for one of the projects in the project area that I want to start gathering resources for so that we can make a start on that almost immediately um, as soon as we get over to the project area. Um, I also added an extra a gate over here just so that it's easier access as well. And also when the neighbors come by, we can, uh, we can run away from them or strategically retreat to uh, then attack them. Uh, I have died a few more times due to pillagers. Great, lovely. Eh, I, uh, I just get rid of them now. <laughs> but um, we have a pathway now. Um, I don't remember if I, I had this on camera. I probably did. Um, but this comes to the tree farm area and I've actually continued it with the, uh, the prospect and anticipation 
of uh, a few more things that we're going to be building further out here. So uh, it's quite a large, uh, large area of land that I'm using for my various farms and things. But um, I guess you are wondering what we're going to be doing in this episode. Well, let me tell you. As we come down to where the uh, storage area is, um, I have carved out a little path uh, that goes around to this little uh, hillside area and uh, in here I did hint uh, before that our enchantment setup um, would be down here and I think I've decided that this would be a great place to uh, to put it. Um, my idea is that um, we have this as kind of like an administration office along with maybe a little mini storage room on the on the bottom floor. Uh, the admin office would be upstairs sort of uh, in the back and then uh, a nice little window area or balcony area for the uh, for the enchantment area. So um, I'm going to gather up some resources and uh, and then yeah, I'll bring you back for uh, for a little time lapse of us building this. I'm super excited. I cannot wait to get some enchantments. It's just going to make my life so much easier, so much easier, and most importantly, safer. So let's get going. Guess what I got? Do do do. Ta da! <laughs> I got his head. Woo! And here we are, just outside of our Silverfish Mine Admin Office. Oh yeah! Okay, so it's only a simple little build. Uh, if we go in here... That sounds so strange when you do the whole zombie trick. Anyway, so this is like a, a little storage area. We've got lots of chests in here. And we have some lovely shelves and a furnace and, you know, all the essentials. We have some hooks so we can hang clothes and tools all over the place a uh, very simple design rustic um which is kind of what i'm going for we come up these stairs and we come to the office i really love this area really love this little space uh, made the roof a little bit more um less smooth which i actually really like um i didn't want it just a, a flat roof or a typical roof because that's boring uh we have obviously the uh the foreman's chair and uh, his desk which will eventually do a uh, a little mining ledger we've got some pictures on the wall some lamps you know just making it a nice office we do also have another shelf up here which um i'm probably going to do maybe the foreman's private collection you know for all those special gems he might find including that diamond over my shoulder and then through this door we don't have we don't have an enchantment table yet. But yes, this is where it's gonna go, in here, in this nice little cozy room. I've got some barrels um, up here, so one will be for the lapis. One will be for probably books that we can put in to just reset the, uh, the enchantments. And uh, yeah, I'm still looking for certain 
um, flowers and also certain decorations which will go into the nooks and the crannies and then obviously out here we have a nice little little balcony because I thought that was rather twee yes uh, it's quite nice yeah I'm happy with it um, definitely need to get the enchantment table which will most likely be our next job on the list so the next job on the list uh, is actually not to do directly with the enchantment table but it's to do with acquiring some of the materials for said enchantment table see I still haven't made a diamond pickaxe so uh, I think we should do that first most definitely and of course with said diamond pickaxe we can mine uh, some obsidian uh, which I only have one block at the moment um, I'm just trying to find any sticks nope I moved everything uh, when I'd done with the uh, enchantment area I had a lot of materials I put them all away and now I can't find anything so uh, I'm gonna grab the materials for our diamond pickaxe and uh, I'll bring it back soon um, serious uh, serious numpty moment um, there are sticks in my hot bar right down there numpty <laughs> okay so we have sticks uh, that's great diamonds uh, one two three Ooh, big moment here very exciting my first diamond pickaxe officially in survival mode done yay Woo! ah proud moment and it's ruined by the llama great okay diamond pickaxe acquired I do need to go to sleep though so uh, see you in the morning sleep success so uh, now we need to find um, some obsidian and uh, I guess the obvious choice of obsidian would be to go down into the uh, the mine shaft and uh, do the old uh, water and lava but um, there is another place we can get some obsidian from can you guess where that is if you had said the ruined portal ah back of my head again over there yes we're gonna use the ruined portal um, because it's accessible and uh, I'm probably gonna later on want to develop this area um, I've been thinking of some ideas uh, just to add a bit more life to the area and sort of create a transition between uh, the TRB and uh, the project area which will be over that way so um, Oh, that looks dangerous. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take down this portal. And then I have a space over at our TRB where I want to put it, which is in that little cove um, area. So uh, I might just dig out all of this area here. And uh, eventually we can sort of make it more pretty when I decide what I want to do in this area. So uh, I'm going to get on and clean up. And uh, I'll see you again real soon once we're ready to start establishing our nether portal. Very exciting stuff. Let's go. I do say portal be gone. Yay. So I've um, tidied up this area and I've got rid of the portal. Uh, I did manage to acquire uh, quite a lot of blocks, um, particularly magma blocks. A lot of them were hidden in little nooks and little crannies going all the way out here. So uh, now it's nice and clean, nice and tidy. And I have the makings of uh, a portal. Um, for the portal that I'm going to be building, I think it's going to be a little bit bigger than just 14 obsidian blocks. So it might be that I do need to go and do a little bit of mining for obsidian. Not something I really particularly enjoy. Who does? But um, very necessary for the uh, the effect that we're we're looking for. And uh, obviously the uh, the portal is going to be over by the uh, the TRB area, an area of which. I am going to have to calculate exactly where I want it to go, um, mostly because I've got a little build over there that I want to do that I'm very excited about. Um, so yes, let's get going and uh, get it all measured out, measured up and ready to rock and roll. Woohoo, exciting stuff, yeah. I also neglected to mention that I've had quite a few visits from our dear neighbours. 
And uh, as I was just about to leave, um, they decided to come a knocking again. I've also discovered why these guys are spawning so much. And that's because I'm in hard mode. Um, they spawn quite regularly around the player uh, during hard mode. So uh, yeah, that's why they keep coming by. They're not, they're not spying on me or anything like that. Oh look, they started to move again. Um, yeah, they're not spying on me, which is a good thing. Uh, they just, they just spawn. It's because of uh, the the game mode I'm playing on. So um, yeah, I uh, I might go over and say hello because <laughs> I'm uh, I'm getting very good at that. So uh, yeah, I will uh, I'll deal with the neighbours and then I will get on to doing my Nether portal. So all this game seems to be these days is digging holes into cliffs. Um, so here we are, we have the start of our uh, nether portal entrance. Um, these are just guide blocks at the moment, uh, they will remain but there will be other blocks around them in this area and uh, if we go down here there will be a little path down here, there will be some decorations in this little space, it will come through here, there will be a door uh, and then it will go um, over something, <laughs> it's going to be a, a, oh dear I just broke my torch. Um, there will be a bit of a drop, so there'll be a little bit of a bridge along here, and then the portal will be um, in this area. I do believe it will be uh, this segment right here, and then we'll have a little bit of a backdrop behind it. Um, at the moment, it's not looking pretty, I will admit. Uh, we do need resources from the nether itself, and uh, I'm nowhere near kitted out for the nether just yet, um, but I do want to get it up and running, so I do have some obsidian in my pocket um i'm not going to actually place it yet because um i need to check my uh my plans uh, of where it's actually going but i do believe it is uh this segment right here but one thing we can do um before we build the portal is actually build the uh the the enchantment table that's what I was looking for. Yes, we haven't built the enchantment table yet. I do actually have enough. Um, the portal's going to be three by three by three by three blocks. So it's basically a three by three um, portal. So that will be 12 pieces of obsidian. It will leave us two, which I think, I'm hoping, is enough for an enchantment table. Um, do I need a book? I think I need a book. Do I have a book? I don't think I have a book. I'm going to find a book. I'll be right back. I just checked the recipe. For the enchantment table. We need four. Four pieces of obsidian. Which, um, is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, I need 12. <laughs> uh... I need 12 pieces of obsidian um, and I I only have 11 if I make my enchantment table so uh, that's kind of annoying <sighs> I'm not gonna lie that's that's kind of annoying um, okay it does look like I'm gonna have to go mining for obsidian yay I'll see you soon okay let's see so uh, okay, so that would be there. That would be there, so yeah, it would be here and over there. Yep, and then that, yep, okay. Alright, so I know where I want it to go. Uh, it's going to go here. Here, 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 and here. And uh, the final block. Oh my goodness! Oh, I made another portal. First one in survival. Very scary stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not going to light it just yet. Um, if I'm brutally honest, nether portals scare me. Uh, the noises they make, the creatures they uh, bring forth, and also the area where they go. Very terrifying. We, I'm almost ready. Um, it's certainly going to be an adventure. Most definitely a big adventure. Um, always is when you're literally going to hell. Um, but for now, what I also want to build um, is a very important piece of equipment. Now that I have enough obsidian, is the enchantment table. So we're going to go and do that right now. Like, 
right now. Okay, so now that I have the recipe uh, correctly, so we need our two diamonds, our book, and uh, we do have a few more. So we have one, two, three, and number four. And oh, it's there. Enchantment table. Bam! <gasps> now I have an enchantment table. Again, my first in survival. Woohoo! And uh, yeah, let's go place it. Oh, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get some decent armor so I'm not so afraid of the mobs. I can come out at night and play. <laughs> play. Um, play not very nicely with the mobs. So here we go. We're in our room. Big moment for me. Massive moment. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Oof, okay, gotta work up to it now. Come on, we can do it. Plonk! Yay! Woohoo! Yes! Now I feel like a bookworm. <laughs> That's actually really, really cool. Okay, so uh, we have our enchantment table. This this is amazing, I think. Ugh. I thought I put my lapis in here. I did not. Um, big failure on my part. Anyway, we now do have um, the enchantment table, which is great. Um, it means now I can do some enchantments, which will make me a little bit happier going to uh, the nether. However, I think this is going to have to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for joining me on this adventure, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you.